Good evening, Joshua. What a special day it's been here in our nation's capital on the South Plains Honor Flight, wrapping up day one, as you mentioned, with a lot of surprises today. And Christy, uh, the veterans we've talked to, a lot of them have been focusing on their fallen friends, the friends who wouldn't be on a flight like this. So they're using this flight to honor them, and that honor began early this morning. Duty calls for the Texas South Plains Honor Flight. Korea and Vietnam War veterans find themselves deployed again, but what awaits them may be once again unknown, but this assignment is full of honor. For Dwayne Huseman, a special assignment carrying with him the memory of 14-year-old David Allen. It's an honor, uh, you know, just to represent him and Take him to Washington, D.C. with me. David's family asked Huseman to take these mementos along for the teen who took his own life, but spent that short life with aspirations of service. And he hurt just one little toy soldier from there to screw. Now a chance to join a group of men he admired. It's very special to me. And I think that's one of the things that he would be telling each one today, is thank you for your service. Alvin Pierce. The honor continues with letters from family, friends, and grateful Americans. The letters that we got on the plane, I mean, they were heartwarming, man. And, but, you know, my heart still feels kind of empty, you know, because of my friends that didn't make it back. For Vietnam veterans like Frank Morales, who did make it back, this trip's honor begins in Baltimore. But it was wonderful, man. You know, we never had anything like this when we first come back. Yeah. Now in the Capitol and at the World War II Memorial, a wreath is laid among the 4,000 stars for the more than 400,000 killed. Why am I, why am I here? And thank these people for what they did. And why am I be here today? Korea War veteran Robert Howe also couldn't help but think about those who didn't make it home. He says this moment was indescribable. Uh, there's not words to express while I feel right now. And it's been an honor that I'll never forget. At the Navy Memorial, another wreath for the sailors who served and answered a call to defend our nation, like Vietnam veteran Larry Cloud. We were scared to death. There were six of us that went. We were just scared to death when we went. And we didn't know exactly what we were going to do, what to do. Cloud says it may not have been a call they wanted to answer, but it was a call he was proud to answer. When I went, everybody said, well, you won't last hardly any time, you'll, you'll die. I said, well, not with the Christ that I know. And into the wild blue yonder, the honor flight went as it laid its final wreath Saturday. Also visiting the memorial was Chief Master Sergeant Joanne Bass, who represents the highest enlisted level of leadership in the Air Force. She took time to thank our veterans and honor our most senior airmen. When I saw your buses, I, was, I got excited because I thought, man, we have an honor flight here. And so first off, I just want to say thank you for your service. Thanks for your sacrifices. Uh, so heartwarming that uh, somebody thinks of you in that situation like that. Arthur Carpenter served in the Korean War, leaving in 1957. Time and service he reflects on today. A final honor on the first day with much more to come. So as I mentioned, the honor does not stop here tonight. We have another full day tomorrow, another day on Monday, and it'll be an exciting day again starting bright and early in the morning. Tomorrow morning is probably one of the most solemn events that we go to besides the Vietnam Wall, and that's the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier at the Arlington National Cemetery, and it's definitely something that a lot of a lot of our vets are looking forward to. Absolutely, and seeing the changing of the guard is something not a lot of people get to witness, so we hope you'll follow us along on social media and join us tomorrow morning on Daybreak. Of course, we'll have more reports for you throughout the weekend on the Texas South Plains Honor Flight here in Washington, D.C. Josh, we'll send it back to you.